If your oven's bake or broil burner is not working, remove any covers or shields and observe whether or not the burner's igniter is glowing. If the igniter is glowing but the burner has not been lit after 90 seconds, there is a high probability that the igniter is defective and will need to be replaced. If the igniter is not glowing, the cause could be a defective safety valve, and you should test the valve for continuity. A continuity test will determine if a continuous electrical path is present in the valve. If there is no continuity, the electrical path is broken and the safety valve is defective. Valves come in many shapes and sizes, but all of them can be tested for continuity. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform the test. For this demonstration, we will use both analog and digital models. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the probes together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, Again, rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. Before you begin the test, shut off the power supply to the oven and disconnect the safety valve wires from the terminals. Be aware your oven may have a dual valve with separate terminals for bake or broil functions. Now, use a probe to touch one of the valve's terminals and the second probe to touch the other terminal. If the meter reading shows a result between 0 and 5 ohms of resistance, the valve has continuity and should be functioning properly. However, if the meter's needle does not move or the digital display does not change significantly, there is no continuity, which means the valve is defective and will need to be replaced.